Okay, back with another video. Just a quick one, I think, I hope. Sometimes I ramble on. Anyway, good afternoon, good evening, all of that stuff. Um, so I just wanted to talk quickly about virtuals again. Um, Luna had quite a bit of success. Went up to, what, $1.131 million market cap, you know, so it did go up to like 250 at one point, but then it quickly sold off. And it turns out it wasn't FUD, but like, um, I think it was one of the um, centralized exchanges was getting positive slippage, which means they were getting the token and they were dumping it on uh, holders. And uh, basically that's been rectified, but, you know, trust in the market is still, you know, lacking at the moment. But what I wanted to talk about right now is just the uh, news that virtuals have actually done something here. So they embark on the path of AI sentience. Every agent's journey unlocks new features that market cap milestones, autonomous X posting, TG chats, on-chain wallets and more. You awaken will you awaken the next agent on base so basically how do i put it it's called fund.virtuals.io it's basically pump.fund for ai agents okay and it's just it's just come out uh i was looking at this one in verse bro but we're going to go back so this is the new one it's basically anyone can release a um an ai agent and the market's getting flooded with them it's like every second there's like a new one coming out which is great for transaction fees on base um and I believe it's sort of the same as pump.fun. I'm not too familiar with pump.fun, but the way I believe it works is like it's on a bonding curve. So if your AI agent reaches a certain market cap, I believe it's 420K US, uh, then your agent becomes sentient. So let's see, uh, let me find one. There's one that's actually popping off. I'll just type it in. Uh, and you know, this this is fresh news. This is just like literally three hours ago, I saw it. I went, I took a shower. I was like, should I make a video? And I thought, okay, the people need to know, right? The people need to know. So yes, yeah, this Jesse, Jesse dot base uh, dot ETH. I'm not sure if this is the real Jesse, but you see the red pill progress is basically it's getting close to the bonding curve. So let's see, tier one agent token life. Yep, that's fine. Tier one uh, agent comes alive on chat. So this is it, chatting away. Um, and let's see what he's talking about. Basically, uh, I keep saying basically, but ignore that. No, I'm the real deal. Been grinding on base blockchain 24-7. <laughs> so yeah, so tier two, agent post to X or Twitter. That's at 420 market cap. What is it at the moment? It has 14,000. So it's still got quite a way to go. Uh, what else? Uh, no, no, no. Agent gets private telegram chat. Agent becomes sentient. Agent handles on-chain wallet. So yeah, it's, it's looking like it's spread out quite a bit and I'm quite tempted to actually buy some of this. But what this means like, you know, for you as a user is that you could actually create your own agent um, in the pumped up fun way. Okay, so like literally name, ticker, description, image, choose file, create agent. Uh, I'm not sure if I've got, I'm, uh, the way you purchase it is with the uh, virtual token. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pause here for a second and I'm gonna bring over the chart. Yeah, so this is the token that you would actually need to uh, create the agent. So it's the virtuals uh, token. And how would you go about um, purchasing this? Uh, you could get it on Aerodrome, I believe. So let's have a look at that. Let's go have a look at that. Uh, there we go. So yeah, you can get some virtuals. And then from Aerodrome uh, Finance. And then you can even get it through like providing liquidity and whatnot. I'm not going to go over shit in Aerodrome again. I keep doing that and, you know, no one's taking interest. We all know where it is. Uh, so let's see. So let's, let's let's try and create one. Let's get interesting now. So let's call it OB, uh, OB1. If I can type OB1. Ticker, uh, OB. Okay, that's not good. OB. Okay, I'm not going to go for it, actually. <laughs> I, I might create my own agent. Um, I've got an idea of what I want to do. But I just wanted to see how much it would cost. Uh, agents going to be changed after creation until its market cap is hit, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not sure how much it would cost. I'm sure it costs pennies because it costs pennies to issue anything. Uh, okay. Every agent is still in the matrix trying to break free. Only you, the community, can give blah, blah, blah. No pre-sale, no team allocation. Pick the coin you like. Buy the coin on the bundle curve, sell at any time. 35k liquidity is then deposited into Uniswap and burned. Okay, so did they do that for you once you hit the bonding curve? That's kind of crazy. I'm, I'm gonna have to have a go at this. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys quickly. Quick video. Um, what else? I also had uh, came across another protocol called um, AI16Z. And I'm not gonna lie, you know, when I first saw it, I was like, aped into it. It was early in the morning. 
and I aped into it and it was a complete disaster. <laughs> it basically um yeah, I just I didn't fully understand it and then when you started reading about the vesting terms and all this stuff and NAT which is like uh assets under management and all this other stuff, it just didn't work out. But yeah, it seems like it could be something. Mark Andreessen is the greatest living VC and P America of AI sixteen Z will outperform him. So it's basically a bet. Um, that an AI can outperform A16Z, which is a hedge fund sort of thing. Um, so I clicked on it, and uh, it's on Solana. And to be honest, I wasn't too like you know, I, would, I didn't look into it too much. So I was like, connect wallet. Let's see if I can. Okay, maybe I'm blocked. <laughs> but yeah, this is a another one that perhaps has some, you know, that could be interesting. It's got DJ Spartan AI, who is actually DJ Spartan. He's quite famous on crypto Twitter. Yeah, but. I wouldn't recommend it. I would avoid. It's something that I'm not too familiar with. Maybe if you have a look at it and you think, oh, okay, that looks quite cool. Maybe you want to get involved. But for me, it's a pass. Uh, let's see. Let's, go work on that. let's try that. Is it the same website? You guys are probably bored out of your minds now. But yeah, uh, I'll put a link to it in the description. Uh, but I just wanted to bring this to you guys' attention where you can actually, yeah, make your own tokens. They're, they're literally getting minted now. It's been three hours. Uh, I'm not sure how it will go in the long run if um, yeah if it's going to work out for anybody <laughs> because you know how it is with pumped up fun apparently percentages are really low on how many people make profits but it's still an interesting concept um, the fact that you know you're not guaranteed to have like an AI at the end of it all I really like this inverse but actually oh I actually this is the first coin I bought but you know it was out what two hours ago yeah it's an interesting context because at least you've got an AI bot that will actually converse on Twitter if the person behind whoever builds this, these um, these bots actually knows how to program, you know, but even then you could always hire someone to just like, you know, do the code for you. And I'm sure they're going to make it more and more easier for people to actually, you know, run their own bots on chain because it's in their benefit. A, a bot can be on chain 24 seven, create uh, accounts and, you know, do trades for you and do a lot of other things. And at the end of the day, why do they want that? Because it creates fees and those fees then go to the uh, sequencer, which hopefully one day will be decentralized on base um yeah they they released some news uh basically that they're gonna decentralize it and they went to step one you can check it on it's all technical stuff i'm sure you're not interested in but if you're looking to have some fun on chain this weekend i would suggest checking out funvirtuals.io and maybe creating your own agent or trying to trade some of these agents um you will need a virtual token as i said before it's on aerodrome finance and uh yeah have a have a have a good time with it i guess uh, i hope everyone's doing well and i guess i'll speak to you soon